If you're sitting here saying, I'm doing fine for myself, then you have a f problem. Every idiot can do fine for themselves. That's not the point. That's not how we grow as humanity, as a collective. We grow when people are in society saying, hey, you know what? I'm doing fine for myself, but I want to do even better. I want to do so well that I can also do well for my parents who are getting older every single day. And I see this problem so many times. People literally say, I'm doing fine for myself. I'm doing well. So, excuse me, I'm sorry, I didn't. When did we say that that's the goal, doing fine for yourself? 95% of the people don't even know what it really means to push. They've never seen themselves go beyond their limits. They've never experienced their limits. Why would you? You're hungry, you go to the grocery store, you buy your steak. You don't even have to go to the grocery store. You order it from your phone, someone else brings it to you. You want to be entertained, you go on the YouTube, it's right there. You don't even have to go on YouTube anymore. You go on TikTok and you have just a 15, in 15 seconds interval, your dopamine is just being spiked. Our brains are meant to do something better. Our brains are meant to endure hardship like crazy. We're machines equipped for survival, for thriving, for thinking, for finding solutions to problems. Our minds are designed to withstand and thrive under very strong evolutionary pressure. The question is, where is that evolutionary pressure right now? There is none. There's no immediate threat you have to run away from. There's no tiger trying to eat you and your buddies. There's no mammoth trampling you. It's just you being relatively safe 24 seven. So what do you have to do to make yourself thrive? You have to start putting that evolutionary pressure on yourself. How do you give yourself that pressure? By having extremely high goals that make you freak out, that make you scared, that intimidate you. And then you go and work on these goals and you do not stop until you've reached that goal. Because once you've reached that goal, that's where the real journey starts. Because now you're actually doing very well for yourself, but you're doing so well for yourself that you can give back to your immediate environment, your parents, your family, your spouse, your mentors, your friends. And then you keep pushing after that because you shall never take things for granted because things can be ripped away from you. The, the carpet can be pulled away from under your feet like this. Because our time here is not infinite. Your time is not infinite. And at some point, you're gonna die. And at some point, your mom's gonna die or your dad's gonna die or your loved one's gonna die. And it will be these moments where, where all the pity feelings of self-doubt, of fear, they won't matter. They will literally lose all their significance or what so-and-so said about you and what so-and-so did behind your back. All these things will lose significance. All you'll think about is how well was I able to take care of my loved ones. And I know I didn't make the rules, but money plays it, right? Money is what it's about. If you want to take care of your parents, of your loved ones, of yourself, you got to find a way to make money. Money can give you safety, money can give you security, money can give you freedom. Please don't let that go to waste.